All right, so I'm gonna be showing you guys my settings that I run in Rainbow Six Siege. That includes like sensitivity, audio settings, everything like that. This has been pretty highly requested recently. So I thought, fuck it, let's just do it. Again, just before we get into the video, these are my personal preference. Do not just copy and paste this. Have your own discretion and your own judgment as well. I'll try my best to explain like different options that you could choose when it comes to these settings. And as always, I try and stream every single day on Twitch. So if you wanna watch me live, my Twitch is Bladescore two ways. I've also got a TikTok and an Instagram. Those are in my description. So if you wanna follow any of those, just check the description. Let's get into the video all right so in the general page on the settings screen there isn't too much that you need to change on here you can pretty much just copy all these down the only thing worth mentioning is the matchmaking preferences this is where you can choose like what map you run for t hunts and stuff like that and you can also put on headshot only which is really good for practicing your aim and then you've just got this which shows like your fps and stuff down the bottom which if i put it on apply you can see down the bottom left, it shows my FPS and ping. But I just have that off because I don't really need it. The only other thing worth mentioning is the drone after prep. This pretty much just means that if it's on automatic, it'll take me straight out of my drone once the prep phase is over. It's just faster, but some people like to keep droning, so you could have it on manual but I just leave mine on automatic. Next up, we got the HUD. So personally for me, the only thing that I change in my HUD is I take off the score updates, which means when you kill someone, 140 doesn't pop up or whatever the points are. Same with when you destroy something. Anytime you get points, it won't pop up on the screen. So that's this setting right here. It's in match information under score updates. You just turn that off. I think it just takes away that little distraction from when it pops up. It's not really needed. So, and yeah, that's it for the HUD settings. The rest, I just have everything else on. You can fuck around with that though. There's a bunch of settings on here to make your HUD simplify fight and make it a bit less distracting so just fuck around with those and find what works best for you but that's that's the only changes i make next we got audio i i run some pretty controversial audio settings i run master volume at max if you don't know what master volume is that is like every sound in the game basically i've got my music on zero because fuck that dialogue this one a lot of people have off or like really low I'll probably put mine down as well. I don't know why I have it so loud. And then for the dynamic range, a lot of people will run night mode, but me personally and a couple of people I know run hi-fi. I've tried both. I just prefer hi-fi. I don't know if it's because I've been on it for so long, but changing over to night mode, I just really don't like it. And I feel like I do fine with hi-fi. So I just leave mine on hi-fi, but it is recommended that you run night mode. Give it a try on both. See how you go. I have had people that run night mode and I told them that I run hi-fi, they give it a go and they prefer hi-fi. So whichever one you prefer. Next, we've got display. So this one's weird, okay? I've got V-Sync off, prioritized performance. My field of view is 84. Now, usually for like the whole time this has been out, I've run 90 FOV. But recently I decided to give it a crack and then I completely forgot it was on. I changed my sensitivity and just left this on 84 by accident and I've felt good with it. So I'm just leaving it on 84. But I would either suggest 90 or somewhere in the 80s at least my hud display area i've got it on 83 don't ask me why i don't actually have a reason i just think it looks cool um and menu display i just have it on 100 i think it looks really weird if you put it below there's no real need but i mean it's completely up to you whatever you want your game to look like just fuck around with these if you put it down it'll like see how it brings my menu in a bit more um there's no real reason it doesn't help you in any way it's just whatever you prefer and then my brightness is 58 i know some people that run up to like 70 brightness which is fucking crazy but i'd say anywhere from about 40 to 70 is fine maybe not 40 40 is pretty low yeah fuck just have at least 50. Yeah, it just depends because everyone's monitor is going to be different. So just find something that isn't too dark and isn't too bright. It should be pretty easy to find. Next up, we've got controls. So I've got vibration off. Moment on advanced. This is so you can actually cancel the animation when deploying a gadget because on standard, you can't do that. Next up, we got drone deployment on advanced as well. This is so you can drone bait and so you don't get stuck on a drone when someone, if someone runs out on you. Because if you have this on standard, when you throw a drone, it'll automatically put you onto the drone. And if someone's waiting on a door for you, they can swing out and kill you easy. So having this on advance is definitely a must. Practice settings, I don't fuck around with that shit. I think that's just aim assist. There's no need. There's no reason to practice with the aim assist when you can't actually use aim assist in the game. So controller layout, just default. Look inversion, do not use this. I've had to use this once when I was on stream and it is not fun. So controller rotation classic. I run a 30, 100. I just changed my sense. If you know me, if you've watched my streams, I usually run a pretty low sense. And yesterday I changed my sense to high and I played with it all day. I've been feeling good. Hopefully I stay consistent with this sense because I actually really enjoy it. I had a lot of fun yesterday when I was playing on it. I run six, nine dead zones. I usually run five, five, but I'm starting to get a little bit of drift on my controller. And then my ADS is 35, 35, 40. And then you guys can see the rest there. Now I'm going to explain my sensitivity a little bit and what you guys should run for yours because sensitivity is all personal preference, but there's a few things you should know. So typically, depending on how new you are to the game, you might not know, but have, you need to have a lower vertical than your horizontal. Typically around that 20 to 30 range, 
range for vertical is pretty common. And then like a higher horizontal. I used to run 60. I used to run 25, 60 for my sensitivity. And I've just upped it to 30, 100. And then dead zones, it's just pretty much, you want to have it low if you don't have stick drift. If you have stick drift, just up it a bit. Up it until you you don't have stick drift. So that's why my right stick has a, like quite a bit of stick drift at the moment. So it's it's on nine. And then for my ADS settings, usually your 1.5 will be higher than your one times. The only reason it's still like this is because when I was playing yesterday, I was using this these exact settings and I was feeling good. Even though my one times was a bit faster than my 1.5, they both felt good. So I'm just leaving it. But typically a lot of people will have their 1.5 and two times. And as it goes up, it'll progressively get higher. But these are just the same at the moment. This could change, but this is just where it's at at the moment. But yeah, as I said, sensitivity is personal preference. Not everyone can control high sensitivity. Not everyone likes playing on a slow sensitivity. Everyone is different. Okay. This is just like I said, this is just like anything in fucking life. Okay. Everyone is different. There's no one thing that's going to work for everyone. There's no one sensitivity that's the best sensitivity, no recoil, this and that. Bro, everyone is different, okay? So you could use this as a guide. If you want to copy this sensitivity, that's fine. But when you go into a game, if you don't feel good with this sense, just adjust it. A good thing to do, right, is I typically pick either from anywhere from 20 to 30 vertical and then anywhere from like 60 to 100 horizontal. And then I'd just stick, you could even just chuck these in, right? You could just chuck these numbers in and just adjust based on how you play. If you're flicking and you feel, you feel like you're overdoing it, bring your sense down a little bit. If you feel like you're too slow to react, can't flick fast enough, then bring it up. Just play around with it until you feel good. Sensitivity isn't like a, you, sensitivity isn't just you chucking in numbers and then just hoping for the best. You actually have to, if you want to feel good when you play and you want to have the best sensitivity for you, you've actually got to put time in practice. You could do this in shooting range. You could do this in a, a free for all. Free for all is a really good tool for me to use when I'm practicing my sensitivity and finding if it's good for me, but you actually have to put time in. Now for advanced, I know a lot of people use these. If you want to find some advanced settings, you're going to have to go to a different video because I do not use advanced. I just don't find that they benefit me much. I haven't actually really used them, but when I did, I just felt I was better without them. So that's why I personally don't use them. They could be beneficial. I don't know too much about them. So if you want to learn about those, just jump over to another video. Um, I'm sure someone else will have like some decent information about it, but I personally just have it off and I feel good with, with it off. So I don't feel like I actually need it. And then lastly, we've got accessibility. I run a green optic color with 100% opacity. A lot of people will bring this down because having it at 100, you can't see through it and it can sometimes get in the way. I just personally prefer my opacity at 100, especially when I make videos and stuff. I just think it looks a lot better. And then this is probably one of the most important settings in this video. Please have screen shake intensity off. Okay, don't have it on either of these. Have it off. A lot of people will switch their team colors as well. I just have the default blue red. I think that makes the most sense, but whatever you prefer. A lot of people prefer different colors. That's what I mean. Like a lot of these settings, it's just all personal preference, what you enjoy, uh, what you prefer. So, and then there's no real need to fuck around with. I've never fucked around with these settings. So I just leave it on default. I hope this video was helpful. Like I said, please just use your own judgment and discretion when picking your settings. Don't just copy exactly what I said and what I have. By the way, I'll also be posting part two of the tier list, which will be the defenders. So stay tuned for that. Anyways, thanks for watching lads.